All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call powered by FanDuel. And um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see something I retweeted today. I follow Rex Chapman, and if you don't follow him, you should. I encourage you to do it. Sometimes he puts some great videos on there. And one he really he put on there today really touched me, and he tweeted, Last year, this man lost his 16-year-old son in a car wreck. Uh, he decided to donate his son's organs, including his heart. And this month, the heart recipient sent a dad a surprise gift, a teddy bear, a recording of his son's heartbeat. Now, you know, if, if you didn't see it on my Twitter feed earlier today, I wanted to play this here. It's a minute 46, and, and it's, it's something that I, I think would, you know, brighten your day a little bit. So I'll let you finish watching this, this video that was posted a little bit earlier. We ordered. They made arrangements with the echocardiogram team. I don't know if that doesn't bring a tear to your eye. I don't know what will. Um, we definitely need more videos like that. Um, let's go out to Pete in Squirrel Hill. What's up, Pete? How are you tonight? Good. Thanks for calling, Pete. Hey, Rich, what about the fear that's overtaking this country of the coronavirus? I don't want to see anybody get sick and anybody go through a hard time. But people need to realize something, Rich. Microbes have been part of this planet for four billion years, much longer than man has been here. Worldwide pandemics have happened before. There's one happening now. It will happen again. So people just need to take a step back, use sound judgment, and think, okay, that the one we're going through now has a 1% mortality rate. The only virus known to man that kills 100% of the people once it becomes symptomatic is rabies. It can be worse. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, Pete. I appreciate your call. And, yes, I think people need to use um, sound judgment out there, try to be safe, uh, you know, just stay isolated for a couple weeks here, and we'll be able to pick back up, and hopefully everything will get back to normal in a couple weeks, maybe a month, and we'll see sports again, and things will be okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you make the switch over to KDK News right now.